And I think everyone needs to have that uncomfortable conversation that that exists and it's wrong. And, yeah, just, you know, this is true. And I think when, when you get to, it's also they're delicate. Controversy in Hollywood strikes again, and this time it's an American talk show host versus the rapper. 50 Cent is throwing bombshell accusations at none other than Oprah Winfrey, and the stakes couldn't be higher 50 Cent. Sure, Has sure. anybody ever came up to you and tell you straight up like, yo, 50, I don't fuck with you? Nope. So I slapped the shit out of him. <laughs> oh, look, oh, I have somebody have nobody fifth. No, I have the shit slapped out of him. Yeah. The rapper known as much for his sharp words as his beats has recently unleashed a scathing series of statements against one of television's most iconic figures. This isn't just a spat. It's an explosive accusation of Oprah allegedly exploiting and stealing from black actors in Hollywood. But what's the real story here? Stay tuned to find out. 50 Cent, known for his unapologetic and outspoken nature, has leveled some serious accusations against Oprah Winfrey. These aren't just passing comments in a fleeting feud. They stem from a history of contention between the two. 50 Cent's latest rant focuses on a critical issue, his perception of Oprah's treatment of black men in the entertainment industry, particularly those facing allegations of sexual misconduct. In a pointed critique that caught the eye of the media back in December 2019, 50 Cent called out Oprah on social media. His accusation was that Oprah was disproportionately targeting black men accused of sexual crimes while seemingly giving a pass to white counterparts in similar situations. Citing her in a Me Too movement documentary that featured Drew Dixon, an accuser of Russell Simmons, and her after Neverland's interview with Michael Jackson's accusers, 50 Cent expressed his dismay at what he saw as a biased approach. But 50 Cent didn't stop there. He brought Oprah's close friend, Gayle King, into the mix, referencing her intense TV interview with R. Kelly that came in the wake of the surviving R. Kelly documentary. Then one night I was at a fundraiser in New York City for the NYRP, a nonprofit founded by Bette Midler. At one point in the evening, I bumped into Gail King, Oprah's best friend. Now, Gail is a real deal, a very sophisticated, secure, and smart lady. She's never afraid of a situation, as she showed with her R. Kelly interview. So she marched right up to me and basically said, why are you talking about my girl? I had to explain to Gail that I didn't have a true beef with Oprah. Listen, I'd love to be Oprah's friend, I continued. But if we can't be friends, can we at least be enemy? Fisen's viewpoint was clear. These documentaries and interviews, in his eyes, were playing a role in publicly convicting their subjects, effectively rendering them guilty until proven innocent. Illustrating his point, 50 Cent shared a compelling image on his Instagram. The photo lined up Bill Cosby, Jeffrey Epstein, Kevin Spacey, Harvey Weinstein, Kelly, and Donald Trump, labeling the black men with age child and the white men with walk. The caption was a straightforward question challenging Oprah's awareness of the racial disparities in these high-profile cases. This clash is not a new chapter in their interactions. The history of their feud traces back to when Oprah criticized the rap music industry for its lyrics and 50 Cent, in turn, disparaged her audience. Although they appeared to have mended fences in a 2012 TV interview, as we know with 50 Cent, no beef is ever truly off the table. In this context, the controversy between Tar G.P. Henson and Oprah Winfrey takes on an even more significant meaning, particularly when viewed through the lens of 50 Cent's accusations. Per G's outspokenness about the underpayment and undervaluation she has experienced in projects like Co The Color Purple echoes the broader allegations that 50 Cent has been making against Oprah. This isn't just about individual grievances, it's about a pattern that some like 50 Cent perceive as systemic within the industry, particularly towards black actors and actresses. During a tearful discussion with Gail King on Sirius XM, Taraji detailed her exhaustion with the industry's pay disparity and how it affects black actresses like her. She expressed her exasperation at working hard and being undervalued, saying, I'm tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, and getting paid a fraction of the cost. Furthermore, Taraji shed light on the financial realities behind the glamorous facade of Hollywood paychecks. As we consider the implications of Taraji's situation, we must also look at the broader narrative it feeds into one where Black talent in Hollywood feels exploited and underappreciated. 
50 Cent's critique of Oprah in this case isn't just about the specific incidents involving Taraji or other Black actors. It's about highlighting what he perceives as a consistent trend of inequity and exploitation. This narrative challenges the status quo, demanding a reevaluation of how Black actors are treated in Hollywood, not just in terms of pay, but also in terms of respect and opportunities this ongoing saga between 50 Cent and Oprah, particularly as it relates to the case of Taraji P. Henson is a window into the complexities of Hollywood's power structures. So let's dig into the whole 50 Cent and Oprah Winfrey drama. It's important to know the history behind their beef to really understand what's going on. This feud didn't just pop up out of nowhere. It goes way back showing how complicated their relationship is it all started when 50 Cent was making a name for himself in the music industry. Five big dreams of appearing on Oprah's show, which would have been a major game changer for him. Going from a former drug dealer from Jamaica, Queens to a successful rapper with Oprah's stamp of approval would have been huge. It wasn't just about getting some publicity for 50 Cent. It was about proving to his grandma, who was a huge Oprah fan, that he had made it. But Oprah wasn't feeling it. She made it clear that she wasn't interested in what 50 Cent had to offer, and that didn't sit well with him. For 50 Cent, Oprah's rejection was more than just a missed opportunity. He saw it as a diss to his art and his background. He accused Oprah of being against hip hop, especially the kind of music he was making. A lot of his fans and people in the hip hop community felt the same way. He even went as far as calling Oprah an aura black on the outside, but white on the inside. He who was basically saying that she was disconnected from the black community, especially people like him who came from similar backgrounds. However, 50 still did an interview with the TV mogul and this clash of perspectives pushed 50 Cent to take things to the next level. In a bold move, he named his dog Oprah and his cat after Oprah's best friend, Gail King. It was a clear shot at Oprah and Gayle, turning their personal beef into a public spectacle. You have a dog named Oprah. Yeah. The conflict between 50 Cent and Oprah opens up a larger conversation about other black actors' experiences with the media mogul. These incidents provide further insight into the accusations leveled by 50 Cent and paint a broader picture of Oprah's interactions with figures in the entertainment industry. One such incident involves rapper and actor Ludacris. His experience with Oprah was marked by controversy during his appearance on her show to promote the film Crash. Ludacris felt that Oprah focused more on critiquing the use of the N-word in his music rather than discussing his role in the movie. He later expressed his disappointment, noting that while Oprah acknowledged his good performance in Crash, she seemingly disapproved of his music, which he felt was unnecessary to bring up during the show. This encounter resonated with 50 Cent's claims as it highlighted a perceived bias Oprah had against certain aspects of black culture, specifically within the hip hop community. It was completely outside of my frame of reference. I've been in show business since I was 14 and uh, I've heard the stories mm -hmm. of what happens and I've seen these kinds of things play out in front of me. Another notable example is the comedian Dave Chappelle. He appeared on Oprah's show after famously rejecting a $50 million deal with Comedy Central and going to Africa. The interview turned controversial when Oprah pressed Chappelle to admit to some form of mental illness, framing his actions as driven by paranoia. Chappelle discussed the pressure he felt from Hollywood executives and his refusal to take antipsychotic medication, which he believed was a way to control him. Oprah, however, seemed to downplay his concerns, attributing his stress to the pressures of fame. The impact of these accusations on the perception of Oprah in Hollywood is significant. Once revered as a champion of black voices and stories, these allegations cast a different light on Oprah's legacy in the industry. They raise questions about her role and responsibility in supporting black talent and whether her actions align with the public persona she has cultivated over the years. So, what are your thoughts on this ongoing saga? Do you agree with 50 Cent's criticisms of Oprah? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos.